What have I done? Yep, I bought this boat. It's a doer upper. It was actually really, really dirty until about two weeks ago. Uh, kept hold past it in the marina and it'd been there like a year or two in a really bad state. And when I saw it clean, I thought, hmm, maybe that's selling it. So I contacted the broker at the marina and yes, sure enough, it was up sell. Yeah. And uh, I put in an offer for it, do a bit of the negotiating and uh, finally I have her now, but really, what am I letting myself in for? Anyway, as you can see, the outside is not too bad, but it could do with some deck paint and a bit of kidnabation just to brighten it up. Uh, inside, actually, it's not too bad. Apparently, it was really, really horrible inside before they cleaned it. So I'm just glad that I haven't had that uh, really nice job to do. Uh, anyway, it's a spacious cabin. I mean, it's the boat itself is uh, 40 foot long. Uh, spacious cabin, as you can see there. Hydrogen hull, sink, uh, forward cabin with a double berth. And then on the left here, we've got diving table and seating. And the diving table drops down to make a nice double bed. And the lockers underneath the seats for more storage. Not that there is a lack of storage in this because the boat is massive. Uh, as I've probably said, it's about 40 foot. And here we are in the bow section. Um, it's clean and tidy in there. Along the left hand side, or should we say the port side, uh, we've got a double bed with a nice bicycle on top. Got a little fridge in there which will run on 12 volts. Uh, won't contain a lot, but you know. It's a boat. And carry into the main saloon area, as they call it. As you can see, the the uh, floor is looking a bit tacky. Uh, it's had some sticky stuff on it to hold carpet down. Um, so we'll probably take that off. Maybe we'll just put some new carpet on the top of it. Anyway, let's go back to the aft cabin, which is the back cabin, and see what we've got there. More sticky stuff on the floor. And that television, oh, that's good. Uh, plenty of storage space, little uh, vanity sink. And then let's go around for that look. We've got another double bed here. Um, it's got all the old cushions on the top of it. Uh, I've got a funny feeling they're going to end up in the den because they look tired. Uh, then we've got another look at the sink, nice Thanaki mirror. And then we're looking back and we go to the right hand side, or should I say, the starboard side. And we've got little sink, we've got the shower room, something a bit dirty, but that'll clean up nice. Uh, maybe a bit of cosmetics to make it look a bit prettier, I don't know. Anyway, let's look around on the other side, and we should have a, yes, there we go, we've got toilet, vanity sink. It's a pump out toilet, uh, which should come out to a tank, or it might go direct out to the water. Um, to here we are in the battery compartment. Uh, suggest the battery master switch and there we have the electronics and the charger on the right hand side which I put on charge because the batteries were dead so anyway got Vitus controls here from function rate I haven't got the key so at this point I can't test it there's loss control which is to the engine which is a Cummins there it is the Cummins 600 diesel Produces about 115 brake horsepower. Uh, those white boxes, I haven't worked them out yet. Um, might be something to do with the uh, hot water. Really don't know. Could be an onboard generator though, because I think it might help one. Anyway, we'll see you later. Looks clean and tidy down there. Uh, gearbox looks clean and tidy. Um, but we will see. I mean, it can look nice and tidy, but the Prime poop. Now those are the batteries hid away. I think those ones were the leisure of batteries. And now we're back in the dining area. A nice spacious area. Now looking back through to the saloon, over the sink. Uh, halogen hob, normally they have the gas fog. Uh, for some reason this boat does not have gas. And the sink, okay, it has no electric pump, which you'll hear going in a minute. It will give you one cold water, um, but I wouldn't recommend drinking it. But this has also a little tap here 
fresh water, now, which is so important. If you drink water out of the other tap, you'll get a rummy tummy. Anyway, we're back on the outside here, as I say, a bit of deck paint, uh, and she'll come up lovely. And here is the windlass uh, for rosing and lowing. Dan kind of filler whether it's electric or manual, but we'll find out. Anyway, uh, uh, onwards to the woods. Uh, let's see how we go. Um, I will be doing more videos on recollection in this boat. So please subscribe and you can get all the latest news with the ups and downs, trials and tribulations. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys and uh, see you soon.